Hello there, Geminis. Welcome to your tarot reading. So I just want to wish you all a very happy birthday for those celebrating this month once more. Um, first of all, the, the thing that came out here is your power of attraction. I feel like within the social circle, within the professional environment that you're in, there is uh, a lot of positive reception, getting positive accolades, um, getting like, you know, congratulations on finishing up projects, wrapping up projects, finalizing new contracts or breaking into um, a, a new frontier when it comes to, you know, uh, landing a very uh, high profile uh, account. La la landing a client or um, being able to forge a contract with a very lucrative client okay so i feel like a lot of uh, good things are happening for you and especially the next two weeks there's this outpouring of support from family members and uh, within the family home and also within um, family members from far away if you're even if you're not living with them and i feel like it is birthday time so you're going to get this dose and this shower of affection coming from people that you love and people that you really care about the other thing that um i want to bring up here and it does show up here is um you know i feel like some of you are um so let me just say, you know, two, three years ago, okay, so 2015, 2016, I feel like some of you have been through a hurtful situation and I feel like it could be like a, a work environment that did not treat you right, you know, dealing with people that didn't treat you right. And it could be work, it could be a relationship partner. And I feel like some of you, if it's a relationship partner, you're still kind of like, it, it seems like there's still scars from that. And I feel like given the chance, you want to give this per person, you know, the, the last say, or I'm sorry, you want to give this person like a piece of your mind. So I feel like you're still not over it. You're still harboring that resentment. You're still wondering like, why did that happen? How could I uh, be so stupid? And the thing is, please don't, you know, don't think about that. Don't um, put yourself in that situation to ruminate over situations we learn from the past and we move on don't beat yourself up over it okay i said the same thing when it came uh for the sagittarius people and you are polar opposites from sagittarius so i feel like there was a situation where you feel like an injustice has been done to you and you couldn't like uh you couldn't get that retribution you couldn't get that sense of justice and i feel like a lot of you are still very upset over it and i feel like you know three years ago and two years ago so possibly 2015 2016 and it's something that's still uh, making you quite upset when you think about it you just um you you just boil over so let go of resentment let go of situations where people have shown their true color they show their true colors mainly because i do believe things happen for a reason and if somebody has shown their true colors it allows us to not trust them in the future so i i am inclined to say like you know if the situation hadn't played out the way that it did it could have been a lot worse so i feel like you know you're you're safe from it because it could have been a lot worse okay so moving forward, what we have here is um, you're getting a lot of positive recognition in the professional environment. And one thing that they want you to slow down a bit is to be a lot more conciliatory, okay? When, when it comes to like speaking, when it comes to communicating, uh, when it comes overall to the way we present things, um, just err on the side of temperance. So that means... Um, taking us a little bit longer to figure out, you know, is this worth my time? Is this, you know, worth me exploring further? Is this conflict worth agitating up again? Is this, you know, even worth it? So err on the side of patience and temperance and, you know, trying to do things in a more conciliatory manner to appease the other people rather than upsetting the environment. I feel like that's going to be a lot better for you. Okay. And as well, a lot of the times I feel like some of you, um, you might like have something unfold and then, you know, when it happens, you're shaken up and you're just like, you, you, your body is almost in shock and you feel like you couldn't respond to it like verbally, physically in the manner that you'd wish. And then when you come home, when you're calm and collected, and that's when you think about, you know, oh, I should have said that I should have, you know, said, uh, made that comeback. Well, the thing here is that, you know, it's, it's done, it's over with. Don't dwell on it. Don't leak your energy towards 
events from the past, people from the past, things that didn't turn out the way that you want. Just move on from it. Move away. And the one thing I would urge you to do is, you know, if something uns unsavory happens, think about, okay, what have I learned from it? Am I a better person for having, you know, experienced that? And move on, okay? So those are the two questions. If you need to ruminate, those are the two questions you should ask yourself and then really try to move on. So let bygones be bygones. Water under the bridge, okay? You have a lot of love and support from people around you. And I also feel that you are in high demand in your social circle. You're in very, very high demand. And um, I feel like the people that are true and sincere, they're still going to be around. They're still going to be around. And so what I feel happening is um, there's a lot of uh, influential pe people in your circle. And I feel like they're, they're smart, intelligent people. And so when you communicate, try to be conciliatory, try to be less inflammatory. And you're going to see um, people acquiescing towards you. You're going to start to see kind of like, you know, the, 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 the waves start to subside in your social circle. Okay. Best of luck here and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.